good what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel and today's episode i'm going to show you guys all my sneaker picks up pickups up in 2021 i know it's the new year january 1st 2022 i'm late but it's better late than never right so sit back relax and enjoy today's episode let's get it Watch me get that stripes like Adidas in my city. I ain't rich yet, jump man fan. Keep the vans for the kickbacks. They don't understand I'm the man where I live at. All for the dreams, trying to keep my name. Before I get into these sneakers, I just want to say if this is your first time coming to my channel, don't forget to hit that hit that subscribe button and join the Wall of Dreams TV family. <coughs> but but if you are an OG to my channel, I just want to say welcome back. I hope you guys and girls enjoy today's episode. Um, half of these sneakers is not from this year. It's from like other years or like really all these sneakers is very, very, very fucking old. Um, but you know, I picked them up, you know, uh, last year. So let's get started, man. Uh, first sneaker I picked up was the Air, uh, Derwins. Worn by AKA Scotty, uh, I say Scotty Pippen. Uh, Dennis Robin wore these uh, when he played for, when he played for the Spurs. Actually, he wore this colorway too. This that uh, you know uh, San, San Antonio uh, Spurs colorway, OG OG colorway. You know Dennis Robin made these famous. Dope, 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 dope. OG '90s sneaker. Uh, let's do for me. Let's do like you know a Nike basketball. Oh. Uh, the Nike up tempo, the fucking ninety fours, probably one of my favorite uh, pickups this year. It was so and like this the Duke colorway, I believe. So I'm not a Duke fan, but this is like a fucking grill mines. This colorway, uh, this colorway, like was going for a lot of money. Shout out to my homie, to my big brother, Schooler, Uncle Schooler. Um, he got he, he charged me these for the low low. I think the size eight and a half or nine. It's an eight and a half. So an eight and a half on eBay was going for like three, like almost 400. It's like 350. And it's crazy how Nike, like 90s basketball, like sneakers is going crazy right now, bro. Uh, up in the resale value. But one of my favorite uh, pickups of last year, the up tempo, the, the Nike up tempo 94s. Uh, I bought these. For like thirty dollars off of eBay. No, I wouldn't say thirty. Like twenty five dollars off of eBay. I couldn't pass these up. One of my girls too. You got the CB ninety uh, fours, Charles Barkley's. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. It's Charles Barkley has some amazing fucking sneakers. Amazing fucking sneakers. Another up tempo man, and probably also one of my favorites of last year pickups. The up tempo, the fucking ninety sevens. Just watching fucking like you know he got game um one night and you know watching um I think it was his, was did Ray Allen had these on his cousin had these on I can't remember but just watching uh he got uh he got game and seeing these on on the movie like really inspired me to get these so. And, and the prices on these, it's like crazy. Uh, I thought like the black and red ones like, was going for a lot of money, but you know, I, I want to say like the black and red ones go for uh, go for more than these, but these is like crazy price. Also, uh, I bought these for you could say a steal, but like not a steal because I wouldn't imagine spending all that money on a fucking Nike basketball sneaker. But hey. It's the world that we're living in, uh, I guess. But up tempo 97s, dope, 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 dope 90s basketball sneakers. And I've been going crazy with the up tempos, huh? Damn. This is this is not the ones that dropped uh, last year. Uh, what, this year or last year? Up in two, 2020. Well, this is not the re recent retro. This is the 2000 and sheesh. 2009 retro, bro. 2009 retro. Um, 
I've been one of these for a long time, man. I was a, a big time Reggie Miller fan. And watching, you know, Reggie Miller, not this color, but with the all white, with the uh, blue. Uh, I guess that's what, navy blue he had on. And like, I always wanted, like, you know, one of these sneakers. This color would actually, um, uh, my uncle had these working at um, Foot Action back in the Gap, back back in 2009, and this and this vault colorway, on this vault, you know, check, and this like, fuck, like, what are those? But the Total Max, the Nike Total Max of Tempo, probably, I said this was my uh, favorite pickup, but I think this is my favorite pickup of, of like this year. I didn't want the last retro. I wanted the 2009 because it's my first time for, like falling in love with these. It's back in 2009. So I had to go back, you know, dig them up on eBay. For a fucking steal, too. A fucking steal. And um, it's no, nothing wrong with these, bro. A little bit of cleaning. But, hey, the Total Max up tempo. Uh, I think that's all my Nike basketball. So we can go get into the Jordans. And I got a lot of OG Jordans. Um, let's start off with my first Jordan pickup this year. The Cardinal 7s. Uh, I went to uh, SnickerCon in Dallas. And the homie, um, he had these for like 220 I was like, you know, that's so, like, and, like, he had receipts. He, he got the box. It's somewhere around here somewhere. But he had the receipts, the box, everything, you know, look the bottoms. And I'm like, man, like, what's the lowest? And he was like, 210. I was like, come on, man. Like, I got 180 right now. And he's like, all right, come back to me when an event is almost over with. I'm like... Like cool, so I'm thinking like, all right, I'm gonna go back to the event, you know when it, you know when he about to close down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show him like a crazy low price. This is see is he gonna bite or not? And he bit. I bought these for one fifty, y'all. Oh, I lied, one sixty, y'all. I bought these for one sixty. He said <laughs> I told him one fifty. He said, man, one sixty. So boom, I bought these for one sixty with the box receipt and everything, y'all. And then I got a dope, and I got the nineties. Uh, vintage Jordan Air Jordan uh, Nike jacket to match these also. So Cardinal Sevens, man, great steal. Thank you, homie. I don't know what's your name, but uh, you can follow him on IG. I think it's L R G Souls on IG. So he got some crazy steals too. But thank you to the homie. Um, and the next pickup, I think it was these. Olympic Sixes, man. Shout out to my cousin uh J Fuse Kenfolk. Um. Uh, he had these on on, on his. Um, he posted these on his Snapchat, and I just fell in love with him again, bro. Uh, I didn't get them back in 2012. I got the I got the sevens, Olympic sevens. I didn't get these. I always wanted these. Ray Allen, like this not a like this not a, like a like an OG colorway. Like Jordan didn't wear these, but these was special made. Not special made, but Ray Allen. Wore these back in the 2000 and fuck something Olympics. I, I, I don't really remember, but Ray Allen wore these and fuck. And the rest of his fucking history, bro. Like, always one of these. Probably one of my favorite sixes. Uh, Black Infrared's probably my third favorite uh, Jordan 6. Uh, it's the Black Infrared Carmine's in these. Um, so I have all my, um, I have all my favorite uh, Jordan 6s. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the uh, Midnight Navy 6, but I don't know because I got these, but I still might get them though. But Olympic 6s, great pickup, great, great, great steal. I paid like 150 on eBay, so thank you. Um, I think it was these next. Just watching the fucking last dance. This like my fourth pair of these, um, but I have, I, I only have two. In my collection all together, but um, my other pair was like cracking the, uh, on the side because that's the older pair, like two thousand was six or some shit like that. So uh, just watching the last dance, be like fuck, I wanted them, and I just recently went back home 
for Christmas, you know, since we're talking about 14 for Christmas, and I found these in my in my stash. So I'm like, fuck, why not bring these back to Dallas and you know where the fuck are these also? So um you know, black toes. But back to these. But uh, you know, you know, this watching the fucking last dance and it got inspired, you know, with the you know, with the last shot, bro. You know, so I'm like, fuck. They look too cold on Jordan feet. So and I, I don't have I don't have these up in Dallas with me. So why not get another pair? And you know, to rock them. Man, I never and I never rocked them. And these going for a crazy amount of money, bro. I, I knew like it was gonna be some he gonna spend me some money, but not like that, bro. I pay like with the with the box too though. And I received with the box. These the two thousand and I think these the recent retro. Yeah, 2017, well, 2018. Uh, so, I paid like 250, though. I paid like 250. Uh, I did wore these, actually. Uh, you can see the, like, the creases on them. I did wore these. No, I paid, I paid like two, I paid like 210. Plus the shipping, because I wanted them fast, so that's why it went to uh, 250. Because I wanted these, like, I needed these, like, then and there. But yeah, I paid like two. Two tens for these, like two ten, two fifteen. Last shot, four tens. Uh, the next, I think y'all recently seen my. Oh, I forgot one pair of fucking Nikes, but it's not no basketball sneakers. But it's the Nike Air Max ninety fives. This the, it is not the twenty twenty version. This is the two thousand and nine version, I believe. Two thousand and nine. Yeah, two thousand nine, twenty ten. You can't really see the tag because the tag is all. Uh, Faded and shit, but shout out to uh to my home girl. Well, she's she not really my home girl. Uh, she's my home girl, home girlfriend, and she was selling her um her collection. I'm supposed to go back and get her Air Max ones that um OG Red University Red, but I never went back and got got them. But she probably sold them now. I got these like over the summer, and my home girl, home girls. My homegirl best friend in Dallas uh, was selling her, uh, not like not her whole collection, but like certain shit, and she got a lot of old shit too. Uh, I was supposed to go, go, like I say, the Air Max ones, and it was another shop I was to go back and get. I can't remember. So, but uh, she, you know, she had these, but I seen an orange. It wasn't an orange box. It was like the yeah, it was an orange box. Y'all remember that OG box? It was brown with that orange. I seen, I seen it. I'm like, man, what's in that though? I want to see what's in that. And she's like, open them up, boom, boom. It's a size eight. I'm like, sheesh, that's my size. I and mean, I just gave her like a, a crazy number, and it's just like, cool, fuck you, you can have them. And I paid like, like sixty five dollars, like sixty, like I think it's like sixty or sixty five, and for a fucking steal, bro, for a fucking steal. But uh okay next Jordan I believe I cop these um dead stop Chicago tens and watch my video shout out to the homie to my homegirl uh Tasha she she you know left her like not like she worked from home so but like she left her uh she left her house on her break to cut uh to cop these for me um one of the consignment uh, stores by my crib. I was at work, uh, so you know they had posted these. The damn stuff for crazy still. I, I got the double nickels, but I wanted the Chicago's. It's something about that checkerboard inside that I always fucking love. When these came out back in 2012, I believe or 11, um, 12, 2012, like January 20, uh, 2012. I was so broke. I was in high school. I was so broke. Because I saved up a lot of money to get the counter cords and I couldn't get these. So ever since then I've been fucking biting for these. So um fucking dead stock, y'all. Look, like the good thing about tens when they dead stock, you can you can really see the beauty on the bottoms, bro. Like Chicago tens, man. Must have for sure in your fucking collection. Um down to to my last two sneakers that I cop. Chicago twos, man. I just got inspired by my big bro Tito. 
Um, he 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 wore the fuck out of his, and I like my shit like this is like not a beat up sneaker. I mean, y'all might say you know I think it's beat up, but it look good beat up though. Like certain joints look good beat up. Ones, twos, and threes and fours, you know, look good beat up. But uh, you know, this what two thousand and four release. Oh shit, two thousand and four, bro, and these still. Still look fucking. You can still wear these, y'all. Like, look, it's nothing, bro. It's nothing. You can still wear these shits, bro. It's not no cracking nowhere. And the butter is just buttery, bro. Um, eBay again, man, for like a bill. I want to say like a bill, bro. Plus the shipping and all that. Of course, you're going to pay more. But I pay like a bill for these, y'all. Man, Chicago Tools. I got inspired by my big bro, Tito. Thank you for inspiring me. And keep on inspiring the world, bro. Last shoe, man. Last shoe of my sneaker fetish of last year. But I did good. I only cop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, shit. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I only caught 12 pairs of shoes, y'all. That's not bad on my other, like, 2020. Quarantine was crazy, y'all. If you watch my quarantine video of uh twenty what twenty, I went crazy. I went ham on on, on, on like quarantine. I, I had cop like what fifteen to twenty, I think like twenty five pairs. <coughs> but um, last shoe man. Once again, I got inspired by my big brother Tito. He copped these at the last event. He came out here. Well, not the last event. The last um swap meet. And. I got, you know, he had, and he know I've been looking for these, bro. I was, when I first moved to Dallas, this girl had these for like $80, but she wanted to meet up uh, at, at her crib, man. And I felt like it was a setup, so I, I didn't, you know, you know, it's my first week here. I'm like, I can't do it. It's my first week here. I don't know nobody. And plus, she lives in fucking Fort Worth, and like, Fort Worth is like an hour away. And I told her, I'm good. I'll just go, I'll just wait. But I found these recently, and these fucking... Just came to my crib like last week before Christmas. And wore the fuck out of these. Still, I wore the fuck out of these in a week, y'all. And these, like, this was like straight. Like, this was like no crease and like, I love the crease and the fuck the shit's not, bro. But probably like one of my favorite Jordan um, 13s, the playoff 13s. Then he got gains. And the bread's cool too. The bread's cool. I gotta find my bread. They're back at home. But this like it is like something about this yellow man, with the yellow with the circles. It, it is something about the yellow. But yeah, man, that's all my sneaker picks up, uh, uh, pickups from two thousand two uh, two thousand twenty one. Make two thousand twenty two better than two thousand twenty one when it comes down to sneakers for me, man. Uh, only got like four pair of shoes that I really, really, really want. Play all twelves. I know I already got them, but I want them again. Uh, Playout 12s. Um, the Penny 1s. The OG Orlando Magic, one of my grails. The uh, the Nike Zone Flight uh, 95s, rumored to come out. That's three. Uh, I want the all-white Penny 1s. It's the home edition colorway. That's four. And it's another one. I, I'm on the fence about like the green bean fives. I never really, you know, was a big fan of that shoe, but I'm on the fence about them. And also the uh, what else shoe? Uh, and the midnight ladies. I'm on the fence about them. And it depends on what it, you know which elevens come out for Christmas. I didn't get the cool grays because I had the cool grays and like so much fucking memories with them. So I'm like cool because it's gonna bring me like I'm gonna start you know tearing. So I'm a, I'm gonna get them, you know. Whenever I get them, but it's so much fucking crowded, and I want to give the people who really want them, a, you know, a chance to get their experience. Like, damn. So, I'm cool. But anyway, thank y'all for watching another episode on the Wallet Dreams TV. Comment down below and let you, and you know, let me know how I did up in 2021 when it come down to my sneaker. This is what I like, y'all. So, see y'all next time. Go. On.